one of the most important things that um, I think are being spoken about in these conversations are the fact that the present is affected by like the past, you know, and like everything that we're seeing right now didn't just start right now. And there is a history behind all of this that's important to know and to be educated about because without that, it's really hard to even see the issues that we're, we're currently having. So it's, it's not about being stuck in the past, but it's about understanding the past uh, and seeing how it relates to the present to change the future. Toronto is it's more diverse ethnically. And you go to a place like Huntington, West Virginia, it's predominantly white. It's definitely a culture that's a lot different than the Toronto culture. And honestly, it just opened my eyes. You know, I feel like it helped me understand that it's, it's not good to generalize people because I feel like people here in West Virginia, their first assumption is like, you know, oh, all those people are racist, but you know, that's not the case. And I think that's an important thing to, uh, to know, to move forward, because there are genuine people, caring people that do want to stray away from, you know, past ideologies and, and kind of, you know, unite instead of divide. So, um, of course, there were a lot of moments where I did witness a lot of things, you know, that were disheartening and, you know, that kind of helped me realize that it is real there. But also, um, there was another side of that that I think is hopeful, you know, and, and shows the potential of areas that may have a rep of being um, racist. Being a black athlete, basketball player at Virginia Tech does come with a lot of perks, but I feel like the difficult part about that is you're only seen as that, you know, and there's just this stereotype behind it that like, that's what they're here to do, that's all they can do, um, you know, that's all they're good for. And I definitely feel like that's detrimental to a lot of the athletes because there is so much more to all of these people. And if we could realize and acknowledge that we are kind of, you know, feeding into those stereotypes, you know, even if it, even if it, if it feels uncomfortable, you know, just speaking about it and, and actually, you know, seeing beyond what we expect or what we think we know, I feel like it'll help a lot of athletes, especially black athletes, just be a better, I don't know, be a better representation of who they really are. I feel like a lot of people may not consider them role models, but I mean, I think there's also a lot of people that do consider them role models. And for the people that do, I think they're kind of doing their job for them because there's nowhere that education shouldn't be allowed. And uh, basketball is definitely a place where people could come and learn about things outside of basketball. You know, I feel like even the most um, famous, you know, well-respected people definitely have a battle with courage. You know, nobody wants to be disliked. Nobody wants to say the wrong thing. But I, I definitely feel like that's something that um, you should embrace. I should embrace because, you know, there's, I don't feel like there's any, there's any real change that comes without that, you know, um, need for courage and need to just overcome a fear of being, um, you know, disliked. I think Coach Young was very compassionate. He took, you know, the time to listen to his student athletes and he took the time to actually um, bring in some police officers to come speak to us. I think that was a very good sign of where his heart was. He genuinely wanted us to um, just have a clear understanding of everything and, and, and actually talk to these people that are in these situations to kind of, you know, get an idea of what it's like to be in their shoes while they got the chance to um, think about what it was like to be in our shoes. So I feel like that was a very kind gesture by him and I think it goes a long way for a lot of the guys on the team. I think we should, we should all be advocates for just continuous learning on various topics because, you know, I feel like there's no real substantial action that can be taken without that, you know, and, and if we just continue to push for people to like learn, read, watch, listen, um, I feel like there will be less oblivion to all of the issues that are surrounding us. So, you know, with that, I think comes more progression. And with that, I think just comes more understanding of everybody around us. At the end of the day, if, you know, we really get down to it, if somebody is truly being loving, a lot of these issues that we're seeing wouldn't be, wouldn't be present. So 
I, I love the shirts and I hope that, you know, it makes people think about what love truly is. It's a lot more complex and, and dense than people give it credit. But if we, you know, continue to just think and think about that word and, you know, really unpack it more, I feel like a lot of people will take action.